Who is King Sean? You too, what's up? It's who is King Sean, and we're back again with another banger. Yes, you see her. She's in handcuffs, right? She's based out of Houston, Texas. She went down. They said she made up to $3 million fixing people credit. Let's see what she done illegal. Nine-year-old Rokisha Brisby was led in front of a judge today. Four more folks are coming forward that have used her to try to fix their credit. After being arrested Friday for what investigators call a multi-million dollar credit repair scheme. Wow. She went in basically would manipulate police reports. Court documents linked to Brisby's social media. Her That's website crazy. says your credit won't fix itself. She used my front page of the police report with my name on it. But <laughs> That's Mark crazy. Says it was under the guise of that business. Rose Credit Repair, where he says she would commit illegal activity, falsifying police reports to increase her client's credit scores. Well, she submitted police reports on these folks' behalf saying that the monies that were spent were fraud or stolen and this is the police report to prove people it. People got to stop doing that, man. The constable says actually worked. Many of these financial institutions basically reversed the credit for these people and it, it did make their credit scores, you know, better because they had a police report on file. Until Herman says one of those institutions reached out to his office with questions. We noticed that the case numbers did not correspond with our current <laughs> case number system. He says that led to a lengthy investigation where they discovered 133 falsified wow. police reports. 133 alone. And Herman says there is evidence she used reports from other agencies as well. FBI is involved with us. Uh, we flagged many of her uh, bank accounts, and uh, we'll be able to see exactly they gonna catch how much money she made you. off customers. In Houston, they cracking the down. HOU 11 News. So a lot of times, I'm always getting messages on my website. People is always asking me, um, can you remove my collections? Can you remove my late payments? Can you remove my inquiries? And I always tell people, do it yourself. It's very easy. It's very simple. I showed you plenty of time through these years. Right. But people are too lazy to do themselves. They rather find somebody like this lady here. Right. Scrolling down social media, Instagram, Facebook. She's promoting herself. And you say, hey, let me go ahead and join. She can remove all these things for five hundred dollars, for seven hundred dollars. And you're going to give this lady that you do not know from a hole in the wall, your social security number, your first, last name, your address, you're giving her all this information, right? So when I went over her police report and I went over her case, right? Guess what happened to those 133 people um, that she filed false reports, right? They had to go down and be questioned. Now, some of those people wasn't even in Houston. They was in California, they was in New York, they was in Pennsylvania, they was in Baltimore. They were subpoenaed to go down and be questioned about if they had any kind of parts in this. Did you know this lady was doing this? Now, why would you have to waste your time and you want to go through all these headaches because you're lazy to do it yourself? You know, and just like when um, I don't want to say, but the C word a couple years ago uh, that happened when the world stopped and things was going crazy. Right. Well, what's happening is that people started fixing people's credit. And uh, they'll keep the information. What they do is they'll fix your credit for you, right? And they'll wait about a year. And after a year, after you done forgot about it, you done got credit cards, you done moved on with your life, guess what they was doing? They were selling your information. They were selling your name. They were selling your social security, right? They were selling it to companies or they was using it for CPNs or all kind of fraudulent things that was going on. Um, and then they'll pop up. Hey, what's this going on with my social security? They're getting alerts left to right. And they forgot all about a year ago. I got my credit fixed. I gave somebody my information that I don't even know. So again, you got to think about these things when you follow these people and you want to get your credit fixed and you want to move. Do it the right way. We got to stop being lazy. We actually got to do the work. Um, I'm going to bring you more videos like this. If you want, go into my um Instagram DM at who is King Sean and tell me what other videos you would like to see. But again, please do not end up like this lady or do not give your information to a lady like this because you're going to, even though you're not a part of it, um, you're going to be questioned. Why do this lady have your information? Guess what? That letterhead, <laughs> that letterhead that remember 133 fraud reports, one of those letters might've been you and you're going to have to question 
Why is your information on this? And who is this person? And who is she to you? And what is going on? So again, get in the comments. Tell me what you think. If you know about this case, get in the comments. Tell me what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. But for now, I'm up out of here. Peace.